Be more about you guys running out of gas and not being in that situation before. What do you think? I mean, I can't speculate. Uh, we just we didn't measure up, and so we uh, we didn't get it done, and that's that. So we're on to this year now. You guys had lost three straight to Vanderbilt until last year. How important is that game? beating Vanderbilt in the East to get to bowl eligibility. Obviously, that's a winnable game every year. Um, I feel like every game is very important. doesn't matter who you're playing. Uh, it, it, every week is that week, so you're trying to win that game. It doesn't matter if you're playing the Chicago Bears or uh, Pee Wee team. It doesn't matter. You want to win it, so that's that. Uh, how motivating is the way the season? You guys came so close to being way behind. How, how much has that been driving you guys through the spring and the summer and everything? Uh, I feel like... Uh, Every year drives the next year, so no matter what last year uh, entailed, we, we would use that as motivation. So we always want to get better, and each year you need to have progress, and I think that uh, this year we've made it. Uh, we're definitely making strides, uh, both uh, mentally and physically. Uh, two years ago, we only had five people run over 19 miles an hour, and uh, just last week we had 33 run over 19 miles an hour. So we're making huge strides physically, and I think uh, and mentally, we're growing up and we're knowing how to manage our time and how to take care of our bodies and uh, how to how to be SEC football players. I'm sorry, you said, well, what's this about 19 miles an hour? Yeah, so we uh, track how fast we can run with uh, GPS units on the pads. Okay. And two years ago, we had uh, five players that ran over 19 miles an hour. And last week in training, we uh, had 33. So it's a huge increase because it's pretty awesome. It just shows how explosive our team has become. Yeah, you can only go 18 miles an hour on the Ole Miss campus because of uh, Archie Manning's number. You guys would all be like speeding on the Ole Miss. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I think last year, the year before, I ran 18 miles in, uh, against Mississippi State. So, I'll be speeding. Well, what did what, 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 what you top? What was your top in speed? It, it was like 18 to 1. Oh, okay. You were, you were almost there. Yeah. Right? I was moving. That's pretty good for a lineman. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, other than that, most people are in the 16s. Yeah. Do you guys look back at the South Carolina game last year as an example of what this football program is capable of? Um, I feel like it uh, it could be, but at the same time, there's always room for improvement. So it doesn't matter. That's not our peak, you know. Uh, we can always get better from there, and I think we will. And uh, I think we played a sound game, and so did they. But uh, we came out on top, and we had uh, everybody do their job, and it was, a, it was a great win for the program. For you as the season went along with the fall start thing, so it seemed like it almost took on a life of its own. What what kind of stuff have you done in the spring and in the off season sort of to deal with that? I just work with our uh, sports psychologist, Dr. Ben, and uh, he helps you uh, kind of realize what you're doing and why you do it. And so it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, emotional state uh, type of thing. And so I would be too high emotionally, and I need to calm myself down before some plays, and that, that, that helps a lot. So just sort of... Being over amped, I mean, is that what you kind of discovered about yourself? That I, I feel like that would be part of it, yeah. Do you have exercises that you do mentally now? Are there other things you're doing before uh, before snaps? Are there things, are there things in your head you have to go through? Uh, not really. I mean, it's just more of like a, um, something that you got to work on. It's not anything super specific. It's just kind of thinking about what, how, your, how your emotional state is and analyzing that. It's not really any routine or anything. Did he compare that to anything? It seemed, it, that sounds a little bit like golf when a guy gets sort of um, over anxious. Um, he works with a bunch of different sports, but uh, I mean, I know he works with golf and everything like that, but uh, he didn't compare it specifically to that. Patrick's got a, quite a few games under his belt. How do you feel about him as your quarterback? Um, I feel great about both the guys that they're um, rotating right now, Patrick and Drew. I feel like they both progressed great uh, during the spring. and. Uh, they both have great arms, and they both got the playbook down, uh, three down pack over this, uh, this spring uh, season, and it's exciting to see what they do. You've gone out of your way a couple times now to mention through the other, you know, the other contender here. Does that feel very much like still a competition to you? It is a competition. Uh, I mean, on the depth chart this released the other day, it was Drew Barker or Pat Toll, so it's either or. It's not one or the other. <coughs> How much do you guys looking forward to the Thursday night game against Paul? Um, I'm looking forward to every game, so it's not a specific game. I, I think Thursday night games are, are fun, and it's a cool atmosphere. Uh, it's just different from Saturdays, but uh, I wouldn't say it's anything different from any other game, so I'm excited for every game. The coaching transition can be tough. Now that this is Coach Stoops and his guys, 